Welcome back, y'all. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, today I'm going to bring uh, y'all a little bit of information on bags that I uh, have used to commute uh, to and fro work uh, over 15 something years. Um, definitely don't have the older bags that I had when I began all this. Uh, the big learning lesson and a whole bunch of backpacks is about it. But I'll bring you like my current ones that I use to get back and forth uh, to and from work carrying foods and uh, at some points of time I was carrying my laptop to work and everything. So um, some larger bags, smaller bags, definitely want to try to be as lean as possible and um, uh, make it as efficient a ride as possible. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you all like this stuff and I'll bring us more content here soon. So I'm going to start with the smaller bags, uh, things that just I may pack uh, my support gear in or my tools and stuff like that for when I commute to work or if I'm on doing my longer rides to bike packing, cam uh, camping and stuff. So, so this is the first bag that I'm going to show you. It's just a little kind of handlebar bag uh, that I've got from LM Bike Works. Uh, Jay does some amazing work and uh, uses a lot of great um, resource materials or recycled materials, up recycled materials uh, to make a lot of his products. So I definitely love supporting local creators, especially like innovators and stuff like that. But nice little a bag for just carrying a few things. You can see, you can slide some things down the sides here. You maybe you're doing your levers inside there. And also too, you need to, you can pull this out if you're maybe carrying a little bit more inside there, just a little collar that you can uh, pull up and then cinch down with this here. But nice for storing your little water bottles or anything like that, or if you're carrying coffee, which I do sometimes too with a closed lid coffee mug or something. Uh, attaches at the back, depends on how you want to do it. I've done it in several different arrangements. Sometimes I'll ride this on the back of my saddle as well, uh, or my post is here and I'll just mount it that way. So I have a bottle back there in the back uh, just for extra storage or carrying other materials, but definitely like this. This is the Traveler. Has a little rivet on the bottom as well for any fluids that get uh, drift in there or, or rained in or anything, but definitely a nice little construction. Comes with uh, several belts, cinched belts that uh, you can mount to the bike. I usually do like a Velcro because it'll tighten it uh, just a bit more uh, to the bike without slipping. But uh, I've used this for maybe about two or three years and I really like this bag and love what Jay does with all the materials he produces. So the next one is the same company, Jay down in Ellen Bike Works in Deep Ellum, uh, Texas, uh, is the Little Dude bag. Pretty neat little thing. Uh, and as I said before, you can mount this in different positions. I've mounted it where the uh, seat post is here and the top tube's here, so it's entry on one side, or I even flipped it around and it's mounted this way, uh, seat tube there and top tube there. So different ways you can position it. I've even run it below the back seat as well. But pretty nifty little thing. Can definitely cram quite a bit in there. Uh, nice little eco lining inside there. Let me turn it that way. But um, just great for haul in maybe spare tubes, uh, CO2 canisters, even snacks. I've carried uh, candies and goodies in here before, uh, even gels and things, but definitely a nice little pouch for just kind of hauling basic materials. Great to have on the bike or leave on the bike. So, you know, where uh, all your uh, support gear or, or repair gear is. So my next bag is my new bag and one of them, probably my favorite bags. Uh, these are guys out of, if I remember right, Rhode Island uh, that designed this handlebar bag. Um, and I got mine almost a year ago, but this is awesome for just carrying little extra supplies or like the other day on my uh, wet ride, I crammed about four t-shirts inside of this thing for moving a few things to work. Um, definitely handy, uh, mounts the, the handlebar bag with an amount that goes on your handlebars. Um, and then you just clamp this shut and it attaches really secure up front. Uh, really nice construction as well. This has got a nice, I don't know if it's alloy or steel or anything inside there, uh, but um, very rigid and sturdy for if you do load it up a little bit, uh, but very nice for kind of keeping everything nice and dry. Uh, as you can see, I actually have my GoPro mount on top of it. There are different fitments you can put in here for maybe doing, I did a quad lock on mine. I asked them if they could do a quad lock. So they sent me the materials for that. And you can swap that in and out. Uh, or even if you do a Wahoo or Garmin or, you know, Hammerhead um, uh, 
GPS tracking, you can mount those on there with just a couple of bolts and swap that in and out. Uh, on mine, you'll see I've got my actually Bontrager um, light harnesses up front, so that's why I can run dual lights uh, for really dark nights or if I'm just having fun. Uh, but definitely easy to mount. Uh, it does come with a little um, handlebar mount that you can mount different materials on side there. And if you've got the regular clamps like uh, on most lights come these days, you'll have that where you can just wrap that on there and then shine forward or any other gear that you need on there. Uh, kind of cool, it's got little pouches and little cinches on the side. That's where I usually kind of carry my uh, bits tool or maybe, maybe my, um, ooh, what I got in there now. Ah, my other, um, I just found my uh, valve core tool. Now I know where it's at. But definitely can put other tools in there. Definitely don't dis misplace anything. What else is in there? Oh, patches. Uh, but I some it's got two on each side. They're held down by these little straps right there. But let me see if there's anything in there. Nah, that one's empty. Uh, nice that you can put things outside there. If you do mount a light here like I do, it is kind of difficult to get in there sometimes. So watch it, make sure something doesn't hang down uh, below that too much. Nice little clip for um, unlocking it so it stays nice and shut. There is a bag that they send with you too that you can put things in there. A little bit of tools as well. Mine's being used for battery pack right now. But inside you can see a uh, nice sectioned off area for carrying other supplies, food, stuff like that. Two little pouches in here as well for putting smaller supplies. Um, if I'm going camping, I'm either stuffing like um, earplugs and things like that, maybe knife or utility tool uh, with me. So I've got things where I can get to it real handy. What's nice is say if your handlebars here this opens up outward so if you're riding you can still work with things on my bike packing trips recently this has been my camera bag uh, so i'll have my gopros in here my sony up in there uh, just for easy quick removal uh, for filming or batteries and stuff like that i can grab real quickly but i definitely like this bag and have enjoyed it immensely so this one's the Blackburn Outpost Design Bag, or Blackburn Design Outpost Bag. It is a medium frame, triangle frame bag uh, that I actually bought for my coworker Lex. Um, fits the checkpoint okay. I need a large on there. Uh, it's a little bit small for the bag, but as you can see, it's expandable as well. So you can zip it closed and just have a uh, kind of a frame bag up top, uh, just not the full triangle. Uh, cinches on with different uh, mounting points different option as well through the straps there you can change where it mounts to the bike and fit perfectly on there uh, with the expansion you can actually put a bladder in here haul more water a camera gear like sometimes my little tripods will go in here uh, and fit just nicely two little side pouches on here mesh pouches for you know carrying uh, smaller materials if my um, like utility knives in there, things like that, carry that easily. Then inside, you can see a much larger area for carrying much more uh, bigger products. And then on the non-drive side, there's a smaller pouch area. This is usually where my um, pump will go and other longer items that uh, fit nicely inside there, sometimes candies and stuff. But definitely nice for hauling a little bit bigger gear than those other small ones do. It's a pretty narrow profile. You can get it pretty packed, so if you're on the bike it can kind of stick out a little bit so your legs may rub or bump against so definitely don't overfeel but it is nice to have the weight on the bike instead of on your backpack or on your back uh, for hauling other gear and stuff but a very nice back for commuting and hauling stuff not on your person i'm going to go back lots and lots of years for these next two bags um, I have a, i've had these for quite a while um, and these were the bags i kind of started um, trying to be more efficient, uh, especially since I had a road bike and I was riding uh, longer distances, 23 miles or you know, 15, 16 miles to work. Uh, but I wanted something really lean uh, for hauling as much as I could. Uh, some of the places I did work had storage or lockers for us, uh, so I didn't have to carry too much, but every once in a while, maybe lunch or something like that. But I'd have these two bags for doing that and I'd use a, uh, a seat post uh, rack uh, mount that just lock onto the seat post and your bag was back behind you. Most of the bag, other bags that I have also are more a rack design so it fits on a rack that's mounted to the bike. 
Uh, Tfiz are a little bit leaner and uh, is a great company as well. Uh, uh, Tfiq has been producing a lot of innovative uh, biking repair tools, camping stuff. Like it's a range of stuff. They've got some great, great material. So this is the first trunk bag. That's the MTX Quick Track bag. Uh, it's very, very nice. This is the one I started with just to move some materials back and forth from between work or I'm going down the road to get groceries or something. Uh, nice, it's got two little pouches on the side, zipper closed, so you can stick other materials in there, your repair tools and things like that. Uh, but two on both sides. You can see right there that it does latch to uh, a rack and this clips on so it's uh, easy to get on and off uh, when you arrive at where you're at. Uh, this is the track that's underneath and that just slides on to the rack so that it'll clip in and then it'll stay secure on there. Uh, this does have a little bit of cinch rope on top and a pouch up there if you're just shoving more in there. Uh, I've stuck shoes in there because you don't need to worry about crease shirts and stuff. But definitely a larger capacity for hauling um, kind of needs you need for getting to work or stuff for work or just a little around the corner kind of ride. I haven't used in quite a while, but as my camping version, as you can see here, it actually has a Panera and it usually has two, but this one got damaged uh, in a little cycling accident at home when carrying some oranges home. <laughs> uh, swayed into the spokes and then just chewed up the bottom of the uh, Panera, so I had to cut that out. But as you can still see, I use it for stuffing any other materials in there. And that's what's really cool about this version. Uh, if you did need to go leaner or wanted to be more aero or not carrying as much, you can actually roll this up inside there and zip that up nice and closed. And then you have more aero kind of ride. This one does have a rear patch on there, a pouch on there uh, that you can cinch in materials, uh, haul water bottles and things like that. And then also to, again, this one will slide and clip on as well. And there's the track underneath. Same thing, this one's actually got a handle on it because you can carry a lot more on it. Definitely a grocery go-getter kind of style uh, bag, which I've used a lot for. Uh, and then you have your pouch and your cinch top up there. This one is not as large. I think I may have broke the, oh, there it is, zipper. But not as big as inside, but you can still carry a lot of materials in there, especially with the side pen airs and things like that. Helps with uh, moving other materials around quite dirty over all the years, but I've probably had this one for uh, maybe six or seven years. I've used this quite a bit for commuting and it has helped me move a lot of material. This is usually when I was carrying like laptop to work or uh, shuttling that back and forth or all my clothes and things, but a very good bag, uh, bag for getting around. But those are those two bags. Now we're gonna go to more of the bigger bags. Um, um, that are going to be on bike. The last ones I'll do is like a backpacks that I've used over the years, uh, the few that I have here. But those are kind of the ones that are great for mounting on the Topeak rack. It is specific to those bags, the rack that's on there because it's a slide tray that locks into place. But uh, great company, great designs, um, produce a lot of stuff for commuting and bike packing. So I really, really like their company. Uh, this next one's a kind of a unique bag. It is a backpack pan air which is kind of cool uh, a couple of companies are starting to do this because commuters as soon as they're at their location lock up the bike i got to carry a bag in and uh this is kind of a cool design um from bond trigger um where they've made it easy to mount on a bike rack uh, and then just attach two straps and then you have a backpack to carry into work or commuting or grocery shop or anything like that but pretty cool little bag as you can see, looks like a plain backpack. I have the straps attached right now. What's nice is underneath this flap right here is how you attach it to the ba uh, bike rack. Uh, easy to mount, it just clips on, has a little lock on there so we don't pop off. A smaller strap at the bottom for uh, mounting to the rack so it doesn't sway out. It's kind of what happened on my Topeak bag. But straps just attached, top and bottom. And then uh, up in the front, you've got a lock lock that in. Inside you do have a little rain protectant, not waterproof or uh, rainproof or anything, but a little protectant for uh, securing any materials inside there so they don't get soaked if you do get in a downpour, which we just had today. But nice little capacity. It is a little tight, kind of getting some materials in, but easy to 
load up with whatever you need. There is compartments inside there. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit. A little mesh compartment in there if you need smaller materials to carry it around uh, or keep separate from other stuff. But kind of a cool design. And there's a lot of uh, companies that are coming out with stuff like that because there's a lot of people that are coming out and starting to commute to work. Um, and I usually say, man, if you're six to eight miles away from work, such an easy commute. Um, easy to do, especially with all the new electric bikes coming out. Makes a big, big difference for um, getting out of the vehicle, getting some exercise, enjoying nature and stuff like that. But very cool little bag. It actually even has a, a side pouch for uh, drinks and things like that. Uh, but very nice. You kind of just... So I went over the Bontrager Pen Air backpack. Uh, now we're going to focus just on the backpacks. Uh, and show you a bit more of those on the on-body kind of uh, carrier materials. Uh, these two that I've got, <clears throat> I use the Osprey a little more. Uh, it is a little more compact, and that's what I've always tried to search for, is a smaller bag that fits kind of down lower on the back so that it's a more aero uh, and doesn't catch a lot of drag or air uh, going over you while you're commuting. <clears throat> the other one's my Dakine. That's if I'm loading up a lot of stuff and just hauling a lot of gear. Uh, it's a very open, versatile bag. It actually has a sleeve in there for doing laptop uh, um, protection, I guess, while carrying it. But it's a bit heavier and bulkier kind of bag. But if it's there for me when uh, I need to carry a lot of materials or heavier materials, 12 packs fit great in there. So it's nice to maybe go pick up uh, some groceries and haul them back on there without uh, having to put a rack on and pen airs and stuff like that, which I do as well, uh, which makes it kind of easier for just getting down the street to pick up some groceries or something like that. But uh, I'll show you those now. So this one's the Osprey. Nice, easy, small, uh, great for commuting. Uh, definitely developed more for um, hauling uh, large water bladders and stuff. Uh, has a hydrational uh, port so that you can run the cable or the hose out and attach to like your straps and things, which I've taken off of here because I don't use it for that. Uh, but definitely kind of a great little commute bag. Both sides, you've got these pouches, which is why I still consider it more of a short-term bag or a short, or short ride bag because uh, it does catch a lot of air and um, slow you down a bit. You can definitely feel it on your back, but it does sit low on the back so that it's a little bit behind the shoulders when you're commuting. Um, pretty good, big capacity. Uh, you can uh, stuff a lot in here, which I have done over the years. Um, the big kind of uh, con with this, it did have straps that came around here to kind of cinch the bag down. Uh, but with their design like that, and it still does have a little bit of that because of the bags here, when you go to fill it, it almost sections it off in two pieces. So it can be difficult to kind of lay things in there perfectly if you're doing like clothes or something like that. But still has a good capacity for hauling a lot of gear. Um, also as well, it does have a smaller pouch for if you're doing snacks or maybe your ride to repair gear and stuff like that. So it's nice to have some smaller items sectioned off for quick commutes. But definitely this is a bag if you're doing short rides to work, you know, in the 10 mile ride range. That way you can just get things back and forth, uh, lighter gear and things like that for uh, food and um, uh, clothing and stuff. The next one, my di the kind bag. Um, I forgot what model it is, but got this in Oregon one year uh, when we went to visit some family and friends up there. Uh, as you can see, I've got it quite patched up with all my goodies and uh, travels and fun stuff. Uh, really cool bag, very big bag. We're in the almost a 25 liter size bag now. And this is if you're really wanting to move a lot of materials. Like I was saying earlier, you can definitely stick 12 packs in here really easily. Uh, nice little side opening. So if you are sliding in your laptop, like I was saying, slide that in there, lock that in place. Definitely it's nice to have that little Velcro strap that attaches so it keeps the laptop from flying out or sliding out when you're uh, packing up or anything. But definitely a nice cavity inside there. A little bit of water resistance material inside as well, as well as the canvas uh, out uh, material. Nice uh, opening up top as well. Uh, that is covered with the uh, 
a water lined uh, uh, liner as well. But easy to kind of slide materials in there, in and out. Uh, when you are done, definitely cinch it up. And then on the front, just kind of snaps nice and closed. One of the big features too on commuting backpacks is you do want to look for a locking harness in the front, personal uh, chest strap. Because uh, when you do have something on your back, you want that to, uh, the, um, oh gosh, straps to make sure they don't slide off or move around while you're riding. So you want those cinched nice and tight, but definitely look for that on the bag bags as well. It does have on this one a little bit of cushion. So if you are hauling heavier materials or a heavier load on here, you've got some protection back on there. Same with the Osprey on that one. You can see it's actually got some ventilation on there. Uh, what you definitely need when commuting to work on the hot days. A little bit of ventilation on the vent there uh, for breathability on your back. That one's kind of nice. It does, when I'm in a like a hunched position, the air does flow through there, cools my back while I do have something back there. This is kind of a quick, easy bag. Um, you don't need to haul a lot, just a couple of items or something like that, and you don't want to call, carry a big old bag like I've shown you there. Uh, drawstring bags are great for that. Nice, tight, small, definitely fit behind the bag. Uh, do a little carabiner or something to tie it off across the chest because these will slide around. But super easy to kind of pack, um, even if you're just doing it in a jersey or a pocket. You can crumple this down, shove that in there, and not have to worry about carrying a big item if you're not carrying a lot of stuff. So I use this often if I'm just carrying maybe if I forgot shorts or shirts or something like that, pack a few in here or maybe just lunch, head to work and not have to worry about carrying some big old bag and then maybe shove it in a smaller bag. My little dude bag sometimes receives it and carries it back home for me. The next bags are the Tanner, the ones that actually go on the bike, on the, they uh, mount to a rack that you have uh, on the bike. Um, the two I have here are the ones, uh, the first ones I've really purchased that are dedicated to bike camping or maybe even grocery shopping and stuff. These are my North Street, uh, North Street route bags uh, that I got probably about two something years ago. Uh, really like these. What's nice is these have the latch on top, but also it is a roll top design so that when you are loaded up, you just take the top of it, roll underneath. That way, no water or anything gets inside of there, and you cinch up pretty uh, closed so your material doesn't get wet. Uh, it does have strap harnesses on the side or attachments, so you can do a strap if you want or anything like that. They do come with pouches on the outside. Definitely great for uh, hauling um, your water or extra gear. These do connect just by these hooks here. I just set on the frame and attach, and then have a kind of drawstring bungee so that you can attach it to the bottom of the rack so that they don't sway out or anything. But love this design. Interior is pretty massive. Looks like they got a whole bunch of camping gear in here. But nice for kind of hauling larger materials. I've gone grocery shopping with these several times. This is my backpacking gear uh, that I take. Uh, on my longer rides and stuff. Um, on some of my camping trips uh, in the winter, a little colder times, uh, I've gone to little uh, Texas State Parks will have uh, bins that you can buy firewood for them. And I'll have these on the bikes and I'll just break open the bags and shove the firewood inside these and then take a uh, firewood back to the campsite. But I love these. I don't use these really for bike commuting. Um, I'm including this because a lot of people are getting into bike commuting that are carrying a little bit more uh, material, laptops, clothing and stuff. Um, <clears throat> the biggest thing with commuting to work is logistics. What do I'm going to need? What am I going to have to take? How much am I going to have to take? Uh, when I did uh, commute to work more often, I'd take maybe Sunday uh, a drive to work and drop off my clothing and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work that well, uh, but you've got to accustom or account for um, shoes, socks, all the materials, laptops and food. So I'd use a larger bag for commuting if you're riding pretty close. This is perfect for just hauling stuff back and forth uh, in a large amount. But definitely love these. Um, I've had these for about two, three years now and have done a lot of camping with them. 
so on the Panairs, there are two ways to carry them. You are going to see the tour riders that are running both front and rear. Um, I learned years ago that if you're carrying a lot of the weight on the back of the bike, when you maybe stand up to climb a hill or something, or maybe pick up pace, if you've got a lot of weight back behind you, you're going to feel the bike just kind of dance back and forth underneath you and side to side. Again, one of my, my toe peak bags, I actually skipped into uh, on my spokes one time and just ripped the corner off of it um, and um, can damage the bike, things like that. So you want something that's going to be stable. Uh, a lot of people that uh, do bike camp, oops, ran out of battery. <laughs> so like I was saying, um, when traveling with a lot more weight on the bike, uh, a lot of people have moved the weight forward. So you'll have a front rack that you can run heavier materials up there. I've done it both on uh, bike packing trips where I'll have uh, all the weight in the back or all the weight in the front. Uh, you do run into a little more uh, uh, aerodynamic issues when you have them on the front because it's catching all the wind. If they're back behind you, a lot of times you've already cut through the wind and you're uh, moving that uh, air around you and around those bags. So it makes it a bit easier to travel that way. But you do definitely do feel the weight in the back of the bike. On the front, if you run them up there, it is a lot more stable. You're controlling the weight and where it moves. When you do stand up to ascend or power up or anything like that, everything's up front so you can hold the bike a lot uh, or more stable. Uh, what's nice too is if you have everything up front, maybe if you're cutting through some brush on some certain trails or anything, that brush is kind of shed around you as you kind of punch through there. So different options, definitely run what you feels best. Uh, with bike commuting, I've always put them in the back so it's easier just to haul things, pull the bag off, run inside wherever I'm going, uh, grocery shopping or shop, uh, or you know, into work. But so, hope you like this information. Uh, I'm bringing more of this content. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your peeps out there. Um, and I'll have all descriptions and details for the bags uh, down below. Um, leave me some comments, see what you think. Uh, if you commute as well, I'd love to hear stories or materials that you've tried over the years. But thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.